So you're looking to get started using Monday.com to really organize your life and work and tasks and projects, but don't really know where to start. Well, this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to get started, all the different views, creating forums, automating tasks, everything you need to know to get started and manage your projects effectively. Let's dive in. So if you haven't yet set up Monday.com, obviously you want to go to Monday.com and you're going to click on Get Started up here and it's going to take you to a page and you can either enter your email or sign in through Google and you're gonna create your account. So you're gonna add your name, you wanna add a password and account name. And then it starts with, it asks you what you're looking to organize, work, personal, school. We're just gonna say work, which describes your current role. I will say business owner. We'll go to continue. How many people? Let's say we got two to five people. And you answer, obviously answer these questions best that pertains to you then it starts getting your workspace ready and you are ready to go. Now, you can add people to your team. I'm gonna say that we'll do that later. And then it takes you to here to create your first project, right? So we're gonna name this project. We're just gonna call this logo design. And let's select the relevant columns for your board. So the owner of the tasks, statuses. And again, this is all editable once you get in there. This is sort of just to keep it set up. So I'm gonna go with their suggestions. We're gonna to go to next. And then you can add in here, let's say we use Gmail, we use Google Calendar, we use Slack, Zoom, and we'll add those in there. And you can see you get real-time results. So it's gonna ask you what you want those to look like. If you at any point want to change that, it's all adjustable, right? Now you've got a couple of different options here. You can go the Kanban or table, timeline. And again, you can switch this once you get in there, but I really like this Kanban view. So we're gonna select that and list your project. So we will go research, brainstorm, and design, right? So that's our different phases that we're working through this. And here you go. And so when you're looking at this, you can see all your projects you're working on over here that you have. You have my work, which is any of the tasks or things that are assigned to you will show up into this area. And based on your to-do dates, so you could have what you have to do today or next week, next week, later, and have all that in there. You can have your favorites. So if you have things that you're going to a lot, you can click in there. All right, so let's look at this logo design project that we created. And you see the first time you get in there, there's a lot of pop-ups to kind of walk you through everything that's being used. So it's very intuitive in that sense. All right, so we have a couple of different options right up here at the top. You have all the information pertaining to that, write out the description. That's how you add it to your favorites so that it'll show up into that box. You have the board type, which you can change depending on what you want and notifications, you can have everything. And this is really one of the powerful tools is like to really customize those notifications so that you know exactly where things are at if you're managing a team or you know and have reminders set if you're falling behind or need tasks to accomplish, you can do that all within there. Then as you go down, you have the views. So we're in that Kanban view. And what this does is, so they have these categories. And again, these are all customizable to go, here's what's done, here's what we're working on, and here's where we're stuck. So we're gonna take this back and let's say, literally just pick these up and drag them over here, do it this way. So we can go, hey, we haven't even started the research, but then once you're done, you move it over to the done and you go, hey, this is what we're working on now. And then you can click on that portion and you can have all the information in here. So, you know, you're brainstorming and you got notes, you have uh, examples of the work, you have, you know, pictures of a whiteboard that you've brainstorming all that. And you add those in there as you need to. Right. And then you can add updates to it to go, hey, we just did this. Here's all the files that we added all in there so that it's all in one place. Now you can add and change these views. So the other one that I like to use is the calendar view. And you can schedule this stuff out to go, hey, we really need these designs by the end of the month. So you can drop it in there and then that way it shows up at the end of the month when you need that to go in. And then you can switch back to the view and it's all in there. And you can see that that updated to when that was due is now in the 31st. So depending on what you're doing or how you wanna do it, you can look at different views and there's a ton of them. You could just have you know, the chart or a table 
or any of these different roadmaps so you can see like where things are tracking. The more complicated the task, the more or project, the more complicated the views. Uh, let's say we want to add a task that we haven't started yet. Hire a designer, right? So you could create this task here and you could go, hey, this is this is my task. I want it to be assigned to me. And you could set the due date and go, I need to hire a designer by the end of the week, right? So you could set these due dates and then that'll pop up when you're looking at your work. You can see what you have coming up here and you got the calendar go, oh, research is on today. And you can see where those things lay. And once you go, hey, we got finished with the done, you click done, boom. And it is now done. The research portion is done. So you can check these tasks off. You can create subtasks within there and really keep things organized that way. One of the powerful tools is with Monday really is like a personal assistant if you utilize the automate feature. OK, so let's talk a little bit about that. When you click in the automate center, this is where you can either use pre-made templates or create custom automation. For example, let's set up a notification. You can choose when an item is created, notify someone, right? So we want to use this template. And then it just kind of walks you through. When an item is created, then assign a creator, all right? And you go the owner and you create that automation. So now every time that you create an item or a task, then it assigns it to the owner, right? But you can make that anybody. You could be, hey, anytime I create a task within this project, I wanna assign our development team or whatever that is. You could create another task. So you could go, when a date arrives, then I wanna notify me, right? Now, anytime that a due date is coming due and it hasn't been checked off, it'll notify me and I'll get a notification, however my notifications are sent up, whether it's an email, a text, or whatever, and then I'll know that something needs to be done, and I can follow up on that. You can click on your profile and set up your notifications here, right? So anytime that somebody mentions you, you can be notified. If there's an update on a project that you're with, you can be notified within monday.com or have them send an email if you're not in the app. So, and obviously, again, this is available on your phone, this is available on line so you can be able to do it that way. And with that, you are up and running in monday.com. You are now organized and things are processing in the background even without you doing that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.